welcome back to Rocky Railway Day 3. I am your conductor, Miss Marissa, on this VBS journey. We're going to start off by singing about Jesus' power pulling us through with a song, Your Power Will Pull Us Through. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. what you think the trains were saying or communicating with each other. So listen close for this clip here.
you know what that train said? What were your guesses? Now, actually three blasts mean that the train is actually backing up. So different blasts or different sounds that you hear from the train actually mean different things. So what I want you guys to do today is take a second and tell someone near you uh, a train whistle pattern, make up one, however many toots you want to do, and think about what that's going to mean. And see if the, pers the other person can guess what, you what your train whistle pattern means. So go ahead and try that with somebody near you. You can even pause the video if you need more time. All right, one other thing we've been talking about here at BBS this week is God sightings, right? We've been watching for God. We've been using our little bracelet to remember to watch for God. We've been using our five senses to see him in all different situations. Yesterday, I heard something that gave me a hope, actually. Um, this woman I recently met, she, I was having a rough moment, and she actually texted me and sent me a song for me to listen to, and it was really encouraging in that situation that I was in. And she didn't even know what it was. She just texted me to be nice, but it helped me a lot. So that was God working through that woman to encourage my heart, and through that song to encourage my heart. Now, I want you to share with somebody, um, again, you can pause the video if you need to, and share a God sighting that you've experienced recently. Maybe it's something you've seen or something you've heard. All right, and take a second to do that. And then let's celebrate that God is here everywhere we go, everywhere he's all around us working, um, as we know with our God sightings. And let's go ahead and celebrate, celebrate that by singing Everywhere I Go. when I was younger and there was a boy there that also worked there and he didn't know anything about Jesus and so he asked a question about he knew I went to church he asked a question and in that moment when he asked the question I was able to share what I believed um, about Jesus and it was a moment where I was scared I was nervous but the Lord gave me that boldness that's the kind of boldness we're talking about 
So that's actually um, what our Bible point is going to be today. Um, the Lord wants us to stand up for what we believe in and say things that sometimes there might be unpopular. Sometimes most of the people in the room might not think or believe the same things you do. But sometimes Jesus needs us to be bold in those situations, even though it can be hard. And so our Bible point today is Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. Let's say that again. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. So let's go ahead and um, sing a strong song to celebrate that truth, and it's called Power Shuffle. will help us remember our Bible point today. Let's go ahead and watch the clip. Is everyone on board for another exciting day? I'm roaring to go. My name is Sierra and I'm a mountain lion. Now you might think lions only belong in Africa but North America has their lions too. My friends and I go by other names like pumas, panthers, catamounts, and cougars. That's because I live all over the western part of the globe and different people have different names for me. In fact, aside from humans, no other mammal covers such a large range of territory. I am one cool cat, aren't I? My tawny fur doesn't start out like this. As a baby, I had spots. I think God gave me those so I'd blend in with the tall grass where my mother hid me. After my brothers and sisters and I were old enough to hunt, we left our pride and went out on our own. 
most of the time, I'm pretty quiet. After all, if I'm making a lot of noise, it's gonna be hard for me to sneak up on my lunch. Shh, be quiet. A girl's gotta eat. Of course, there are times when I need to make a big, bold noise. Even though I look a lot like a lion, I don't roar. I've got a pretty intimidating scream, though. <coughs> Isn't that the cat's meow? When I need to catch a meal, I have to move fast. I'm glad God gave me such powerful legs to run, jump, and pounce. Without those mighty muscles, I'd go hungry. God made my legs so powerful Mountain lions can jump up to 18 feet high and 40 feet long. That'd be like me jumping on top of your house. God created me with muscles to leap and pounce. Sometimes you need to boldly leap or pounce on an opportunity. Maybe it's hard to be bold when you need to make a new friend. Tell the truth or boldly talk about Jesus. The Bible has this powerful promise for you. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. You can trust that Jesus' power will give you the strength you need to be bold. Jesus is right with you, cheering you on all the way. Pounce on the opportunity. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. So Sierra is a mountain lion, and we think mountain lions, we think bold, we think strong. So let's go ahead and sing this perfect song to help us to remember to be bold like that mountain lion, and it's called Lions. Let's go ahead and watch it. Today we live, today we breathe, today we know that we are strong when we are weak. Today we trust, we overcome, take every chain that kept us slaves and throw them off. We're not waiting for permission, we defy our inhibition like a middle name is fearless. It's Miss Alicia and welcome to Exploration Station Day 3 and during this time we get to do fun activities together using all different kinds of supplies. 
So for today's activity, what you're going to need is some Play-Doh, and then a little person, and this activity is called Hiding in Play Clay. So you're going to take out your Play-Doh, and you're going to use it to hide your person. So I kind of flatten it out a little bit, and I'm going to take my person, and hide them in the Play-Doh. Can you think of a time when you wanted to hide? Maybe you felt scared or embarrassed? Well, we don't need to be embarrassed or try to hide our friendship with Jesus because Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. Hi everyone, welcome to Bible Adventures Day 3, and today we are learning all about how Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. So today our story comes from Acts 3, and it takes place in Jerusalem, and we're learning about a man in our story who wasn't able to walk. Nowadays, if you're not able to walk, you get to use a wheelchair and somebody can push you in the wheelchair or you can move it by yourself and get where you need to go. But in Bible times, they didn't have a wheelchair. So they would have to have their friends or family carry them to places that they needed to go. So what we're going to do is I want you to find the smallest person in your family and you're going to carefully carry them across the room. But if you're the smallest person in your family, maybe you could carry a stuffed animal or a baby doll. So everyone, go find the smallest person in your family. Okay, I have the smallest person in my family. And what we're going to do is we're going to carefully carry them across the room. Here we go. I'm going to walk this way. And turn around. And walk back. All right. Good job. That was a lot of work. Can you imagine if you had to carry your friend or your, someone in your family everywhere they needed to go? When they need to go to school or to work? Or maybe you're the one that would have to be carried. That would be a lot of work. So next, we're going to go over to the temple, and we're going to be learning about a really bold story. Hi, everyone. So we're talking about something really bold that happened at the temple. So what we're going to do is you can get a mat at your house and find someone in your family to sit on the mat to pretend to be the man who couldn't walk. Because in Jerusalem, at the temple, there was a man who couldn't walk for 40 years. He was never able to take a step. Nowadays, if you can't walk, you can still live a productive life. And, but back in Jerusalem, in Bible times, it was hard for someone who couldn't walk to find a job. They couldn't be a carpenter or a fisherman or a pot, use pot, make pottery. They couldn't be a priest. All they could do was ask for money. So can you cup your hands together like this? Cup your hands together. And sometimes people would walk by and they would give the man money. Here you go. Cup your hands like this. Here you go. But there are some people who would walk by and they wouldn't even look at the man. They wouldn't give him any money. And money was nice, but then sometimes it would run out and he would need more money. So one day, Peter and John were walking by, and they stopped right in front of the man, and they said, we don't have any silver or gold to give you, but we'll give you what we have. I wonder what they had to give to the man that could be better than money. They said to the man, they said, in the name of Jesus, the man could walk. He was healed. Let's jump like a frog, everybody. Hop, hop. Peter did that miracle, 
it gathered a huge crowd of people. And the people were listening to Peter talk about Jesus' love and how Jesus died for their sins. But some people in the crowd, some of the leaders were angry because they didn't believe in what Jesus said. And they thought that Christians who followed Jesus were a liar, were liars. So they got so mad at Peter and John that they put them in jail. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a jail. So we're going to have one person in the middle and everybody else is going to go around and hold hands to make a jail. Are you ready to make a jail with me? Yeah. Okay, come over here. Hey. And you're going to put me in jail. Oh no. Come all the way around and make a jail. Oh, there we go. I'm in jail. Oh no. It's really hard to feel bold when I'm in jail. It's hard to have hope. But I know that Jesus' power helps us be bold. So Peter and John had to make a decision. They had to decide if they were going to still tell people about Jesus and get in a lot of trouble or be quiet so they could stay safe. But they told the leaders very boldly that they couldn't listen to them. They had to listen to Jesus and they had to tell people about his love. Wow, that's really a bold thing to do. So eventually, the leaders let Peter and John go. So they were able to get out of jail. Good job, everyone. And then they told everybody about Jesus. And 5,000 men decided to follow Jesus. And that doesn't include women and children. That is a lot of people. So Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Can you guys make a bold, like, superhero move? So we got to go like this, be bold for Jesus. Can you do that? Bold for Jesus. Good job. Bold like a superhero. Good job, everyone. So when Peter talked to all those people about Jesus' love, it made me think about how somebody bold told me about Jesus, and that's how I came to know him. Can you think of somebody bold who told you about Jesus? Or maybe there's somebody that you know that you could be bold and tell them about Jesus. How about we pray and we're going to pray that God gives us confidence and gives us boldness to share his love with others. Okay, let's pray together. Jesus, thank you so much for being with us. It's comforting to know that we are never alone when we feel like we're the only ones who believe in you. And when we're facing tough things, you are right beside us and you give us strength and love and boldness. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, everyone, now it's time for an activity that you can do after our Bible story with preschoolers. So what you're going to need is your Bible activity page. And this shows us the scene of the man who was healed and he's praising God, his legs are working. And here is the crowd of people. And that looks like Peter telling the people about Jesus' love. So you're gonna need your activity page and you're gonna need a sticker of Jesus and your crayons. So today we heard a story about how Jesus' power helped heal the man who couldn't walk, and also how Jesus' power gave boldness to a man named Peter, here's Peter, to tell all the people about Jesus' love. So Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. Okay, I'm going to get started. I'm going to use my crayons that color my picture. Now I'm just color, I'm gonna color a little bit just to, to show you what we need to do. I'm gonna use my red crayon, color Peter's robe that he's wearing. Let's see, and then I'll use my brown crayon to color his 
belt, and then some more red. I'm just going to show you how I color Peter, but then you can color the rest of the people using your crayons. I'm going to color your sandals. Okay, so after you've colored your picture and all your people are colored, you're going to put your picture of Jesus. And that is to remind us about Jesus' power and how he has the power to heal and he has the power to make us be bold for him. Good job, everyone. Welcome to Locomotion Day 3, Bold Box. What you'll need is a beach box, and what you'll do is you'll stand in a circle and toss the ball in the air. Bop the ball to each other like a volleyball without letting it fall to the ground. Move Count ball. each time the ball is flopped into the air. How many bops can you get? In this game, you might have to take some bold drives or dives for a ball. Are you feeling bold? No. Being bold can be hard on your own, but teamwork and encouraging friends make it easier. Jesus can help us through encouraging words of others. Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust, Trust Jesus! Jesus. Hi everyone! Welcome to Choo Choo Snacks Day 3. Today's snack is called Coal Crunch. You will find the recipe for this yummy treat in your VBS bag. Today's snack looks like coal. Coal is a kind of rock that can be burned to make powerful, bold energy that will move things even as huge as trains. Jesus gives us power too, and Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus! The Bible tells us in Isaiah 40, 29 that he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Enjoy, everyone. Don't forget to pray. Welcome to Day 3 of Kid Vid Cinema. I'm Pastor David, and we're back. Did you ever have to do something that you needed courage for? That you had to be bold for? Well, let's take a look at a young girl named Lauren and her story. Check it out. Meet Lauren. She's your pretty typical kid. She loves Legos and animals. These are freshwater fish. Mine is peaches. My brother's is Green Lantern. My sister's is Uma. She loves learning. My favorite subject in school is writing. I did write. This is kind of like a comic book. She also loves cruising around her basement on her scooter and bouncing on trampolines. Lauren also serves Jesus in a big, bold way by serving at her local food kitchen. I saw all the people who didn't have food, so I wanted to help them. My first time I served in Community Kitchen, I tried it in California, and I wanted to do it here. So I told my mom, and she found a place, and she said I can go. First thing, she meets with her crew to get a plan for the day. It feels nice, and it feels like God want me to do this, because it's important that people who don't have very much things, that we need to care for them. I am the drink and dessert person. When I do desserts, I walk back and forth taking down desserts and putting them on a table.
Once everything is set up, they say a prayer before everyone is served. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food that we have done. It's time to start serving. When they start, we have to pour the drink. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, isn't it cool to see Lauren's boldness as she serves and meets all these grown-ups? You're welcome. We serve juice, we serve milk, and we serve coffee, hot chocolate. It makes me feel bold when I show them that I care about them and that they are important and that we should care for them. And they're always happy when I'm there. That makes me feel good. Thank you. Welcome. You did a great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Lauren enjoys serving so much, she invites others to serve with her. My brother wants to go with me, so he'll come next time. In the Bible, the book of Isaiah tells us, He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. God has given me the power to show people that they matter and that it's kind to care for people who need stuff and who are just on the streets, who don't have food, who don't have homes. They need stuff, and I got the power from God to show them that they matter. Jesus' power helps us be bold. I really like that video. It almost made me cry when I think of Lauren's service to God and to others who are homeless and hungry. She had to be bold to do those things. And she did, because Jesus' power gave her the strength to be bold. Let's boldly serve God and serve others. Ask maybe your mom or dad or your pastor at the church about ways that you can serve, ways that you can help, and ask God for the boldness to do it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that you put these desires in our hearts, desires to serve you and to help others. We pray, Lord, that you would give us the boldness to do them for your glory and for the good of others. Amen. Hi, everyone. It's time for our craft and play for day three. And for our craft today, you are going to need your paperboard tube, so you can use a paper towel roll. You're going to need a wax piece of paper about this size, and some markers. I have my markers here, and a rubber band, and your stickers that have your buddy friends on them, and some trees. And what we're going to make with all these supplies is a kazoo. So when a train is coming, it has to make a loud sound so it can warn people that it's coming. So it uses its loud whistle to make a bold sound. So we are going to make a kazoo that can make a bold sound too, just like the whistle on the train. So I'm gonna take my paper towel roll and I'm gonna use my markers to color. Use my green marker, and I'm just gonna make some lines on here to make it beautiful. I like just the green one. Next, I'm gonna use yellow. We're gonna make it really colorful and beautiful. Okay, there's my yellow. Let's use orange. And I'm making lines on mine, but you can make whatever you want on yours. You could make a rainbow, you could make flowers. However you want to decorate, you can be creative. I'm going to use blue. Let's see, what color have I not used? I haven't used purple yet. So I'm going to finish with some purple. OK, 
Okay, so I decorated my kazoo with all different colors of the rainbow. And now I'm going to decorate it with stickers. So I'm gonna put, here's my buddy Ava, that on my seal. And you can stick them all around. And I'm gonna add a tree. them at the bottom too so I have them spread out all around my kazoo so it can look really nice. Okay once you have all your stickers that you want to use you're going to take your wax piece of paper and that gets to go on top and you're going to kind of fold it down and hold it and get your rubber band and we're going to tie it on top. So we can speak up and we can be bold just like, like Peter did when he talked to the crowd of people. And Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. So now we are going to make a special whistle sound with our kazoo and make a bold sound. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, have fun everyone! Welcome back to Imagination Station, day three. I can't imagine all the discoveries we're going to make today, but I have to ask, did you bring your imagination today? Uh-oh, looks like some of you forgot. That's why I had a chat with Sierra the Mountain Lion, and she told me something amazing about them. Mountain lions, like Sierra, can leap 15 feet in the air. That's higher than most ceilings. Okay, I have another question for you. Which is stronger in a mountain lion? Stronger sense of smell or hearing? Drum roll, please. Mountain lions have a weak <laughs> sense of smell, but an extremely sensitive and powerful sense of hearing. Speaking of power, today we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Sometimes we not, may not feel bold, especially when sharing faith in Jesus. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. We'll never be perfect, but practice can help us be bold. It's like this. You take one step like praying before lunch at school. Maybe somebody asks you why. You take another step and say you're thanking God for your food. Another step would be saying you're thankful for God sending Jesus. And someone is showing you something. Each bold step makes the next step a little easier. Now it's time for our sciencey fun gizmo. Behold the bold blaster. Huh. That was a dud. Let me see. Let's try it again. Okay, now I've added the power pack. Now this should be bold. Let's see. Whoa! That was amazing! Bold blaster really became bold. Do you see how high it went? Without Jesus in our lives, we're kind of like the blaster that was a dud. But with Jesus, our boldness can reach new heights. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Have fun, everyone. Welcome back to our Day 3 Rocky Wrap-Up. Before we get started, we're going to go ahead and sing a song called Pow the His Power Will Pull Us Through. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open 
find spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise Whoa, 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 whoa. We trust, we trust, we trust in you Jesus You're all, you're all, you're all that we need Your power will pull us through We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you Spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus You're all, you're all that we need Your power will pull us through We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you You give us hope that Jesus's power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Let's say that again. Jesus's power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Very good. So our, me our Bible memory buddy today, um, we met with Sierra. She's a mountain lion. And sometimes we, we think of mountain lions, we think that sometimes they're quiet as they kind of stalk their prey, right? And sometimes they're bold when they pounce on their prey, right? And so um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and hop and pounce like a mountain lion. Go ahead and do that. Okay? Very good, you cool cats. Now, we have our little buddy here, Sierra, and like you should, this should come in your VBS kit. And like the other ones that we had um, on day one and day two, we can punch out the hole and we can go ahead and add um, Sierra to our buddies. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Put them all three together. And like I said before, there's an app that you can download that you can play games um, with the characters or um, the little stands that there at the bottom that you can make. And at the end of the week, when um, we have all our characters, you can play a game with your um, with your Bible, um, your Bible you're going to get with your um, BBS kit as well. So these kind of have different. They remind us about our Bible points, but they also can be a fun game as well. Um, so. Let's go ahead and sing a song about being fearless. And let's go ahead and sing that song, Lions. Today we live, today we breathe, today we know that we are strong when we are weak. Today we try. chain that kept the slaves and throw them off. We're not waiting for permission. We defy our inhibition like our middle name is fearless son of red. If we're gonna fight, we fight like eagles. 
So throughout VBS, we've been learning about trains and trips and tracks, right? We've been learning all about steam engines and lots and lots about trains um, as they travel through the Rocky Mountains, right? And as trains like these travel through the Rocky Mountains, we know that the Rocky Mountains are mountains. They're hilly. They're not flat. So it is pretty difficult for trains to get through um, when it's so hilly like that. So we're going to do a little experiment here, and these are going to be my mountains. But it's not always just mountains. Sometimes there's valleys. This little space is a valley um, of low land between the mountains. Sometimes there's mountains, sometimes there's valleys. And so um, train conductors have to figure out how to get over um, mountains and valleys. So we're going to do a little experience here. Um, if we're going to get from a mountain to a mountain with a valley in between, we're going to need something, right, to get us over that valley, right? We're going to need something to bridge the gap between the two mountains. And so I'm going to make my own little bridge, which is a piece of paper, okay? And we're going to see if that works. Hmm. It obviously did not work with just a flat piece of paper. So I want you to brainstorm for me and think of a way that I could change this piece of paper to make it a stronger bridge. I don't have metal or wood like some bridges are made out of, so we have to be creative and work together right now to think of a way to change this paper to make it so that my train can make it from the mountain through the valley to the other mountain. So you go ahead and brainstorm and think of what I could do. You can even pause the video if you need more time to discuss. I'm sure you guys came up with some awesome suggestions. You know, when you come up with ideas to help fix something or make something work, that's called engineering. You guys are being engineers right now. So thank you, engineers, for all your hard work. Now, I, as an engineer myself today, um, came up with a little way to figure this out, to bridge the gap between this mountain and this valley and this mountain. So um, I, got, I went ahead and folded the, um, the piece of paper on each side the long way and then it kind of makes a little path here and it's a little bit stronger. So hopefully that will allow my train to get from one mountain to the other now without falling into the valley. So let's go ahead and make sure my train is ready to go. Here we go. Yay, it made it! Thank you engineers, you guys helped me. So by working together, you guys helping me, giving ideas, you guys brainstorming on your own, we um, kept the train on the track, right? And when we share Jesus' power with our friends, we help them be bold too, right? And we can all be bold because Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. That's right. So let's go ahead and celebrate that by singing the song, This Train is Bound for Glory. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory Jesus made a place in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train Okay now, let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. This train. This train. 
Hey travelers, thanks for another great day here at Rocky Railway. I'm going to go ahead and close in prayer and then we're going to, right after I say amen, you're going to sing Power in the Blood and then you'll be done for the day. All right, let's go ahead and pray together. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for another time at BBS where we can learn about you. Thank you for your power. Thank you for the boldness that you can give us. Lord, help us to be bold and speak your name and talk about you even when it's hard to, Lord. Give us that strength. Give us that boldness. In your name, amen. Enjoy the song.